Good morning everyone, buenos dias. Today I am going to do a little vlog. Don't really know exactly what I'm gonna do yet, but I know I'm gonna go to the gym just now with my brother, eat food and see what else happens during the day. Let's go for it. Are you ready? Just walking back from the gym, had a really quick workout, kind of working more on leg stuff and a few other fun bits. Gonna go and get some food! I'm gonna have some breakfast because I've not eaten anything yet today. Powder everywhere. Hand for two or three of boulders. A little bit milk with a little bit of frothy water. So this morning when I was putting my shoes on, I broke my nail. I can't really see it. I'm thinking whether I should just super glue it. I don't know, tried that, but my nails look good right now. I don't know. Man up for it. So yeah, I'm gonna try super glue. I think that makes a difference. Super glue and then paint them over. I guess I might only have metal slash wood glue, but that might be fine. So if you know me, I love plants. I have quite a few in my room, so I'm going to water them. Some of them die away and some of them grow back depending on the time of year. And some of them just constantly need watered. So I'm just going to go in. Love you. PJs are back on. So I'm currently going to attempt to glue my nail. I'm just gonna use glue that you'd use when you put fake nails on, I think. And then I'm gonna paint them. I'm not trying to be like super basic, but it's cut like up here. If it comes off, it's going to hurt a lot. Let's give it a go. <laughs> So I went and like lit a whole lot of candles, as you can probably see. There's like a fan makes a really loud noise and I don't like it. It's not very relaxing. So I put some candles on. So I had this lighter here and I couldn't quite get to the big one. So I used this finger and you can't really see just the tip of it. I burnt my finger. Burnt my nail and it stinks. My nails just, nails just aren't having a good time with me. I might as well just cut them off, even though I've spent like years trying to grow them. Oh well. So I'm gonna have a nice bath. You can see here bubbles, some lights in there and it's just super relaxing. Looking forward to kind of just sweating it out and seeing if I feel it any better. What I'm now going to do is have some lunch, but I'm going to do some taste testing. Most of the stuff I've kind of tried, there's a couple of things I've not tried. This is kind of like my lunch as well. First of all, I have some of these holly rice. It's kind of like this kind of normal rice stuff, but it's cauliflower. I'm going to make wrap for these bad boys. But I also have from Aldi, it's like vegan tuna and one of them has mayonnaise in them so i'm gonna try that first of all i'm gonna heat this up let's first of all try this just normal tuna it smells like cat food uh. it tastes like what cat, cat food should taste like i've never tried cat food but it smells like what it should taste huh. we'll see this is one with mayonnaise I mean, you can buy your own vegan mayonnaise, which is like amazing. That's quite nice. This one tastes more like tuna than that one, but I would prefer to get my own mayonnaise. Hellman's, I'm pretty sure, does their own vegan mayonnaise. Considering it's soya, it's not too bad, but it's not amazing. <laughs> right now, let's try this cauliflower. 
I mean, it's cauliflower. You could do this a lot cheaper, just buy your own cauliflower. Just cut it up or even put it in a blender so it's like consistency is like this. I guess this is for someone who can't really be bothered to do that. I just bought it because I wanted to see what it was like. Let's make a, um, a wrap. Or should I try this? Uh, what is it? It's vegan tuna. <laughs> um, Try this one. This one's got mayonnaise in it. I'm sure it'd be okay with something. Mayonnaise. It's quite potent on its own. Try this one. This one's with mayonnaise. I'm okay, thanks. It's a bit different. Try it, try it, try it. <laughs> Do it for right. the vlog. It's a part of paper. Right, let's make this wrap. Salad, some of this tuna, some of this honey, mustard, cauliflower rice, and then some roasted veg I made the other day, which has got parsnip, sweet potato, normal potato, and kale, along with a gluten-free wrap. It's actually really nice. Mm, delicious. I don't usually buy like, plant-based alternatives or anything, but I think it's sometimes nice to experiment. I much prefer doing like whole foods, but this was a little bit of fun. I quite like to experiment with other stuff because there's so many thing, like new things being released nowadays. Yeah, let me know if you've seen or heard of any new stuff and I'll probably give it a go. I'm feeling pretty full after that food. So I'm just gonna go walk off along the beach. I don't know if the tide's in or out or not. We'll see. Uh, I just like going and walking and hopefully taking my shoes off. So let's go for it. So just had a lovely walk around the beach and I've just made some food. I'm not particularly hungry. Like I don't feel like I want to eat a big, big meal tonight. So I've just got some blueberry, soya yogurt, coconut yogurt, a tiny bit of cashews and then apple, something just really simple. And then I'm gonna watch the Vikings. was a very full day of doing lots of different stuff. I went to the gym, I had lots of food, I went for a walk, I organized some stuff and it's back to work tomorrow. I'm feeling a little bit better, hopefully I feel better during the week. Here's to going back to work but I hope you guys had an amazing weekend and I will see you guys soon. <laughs> Bye!